If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Losing a loved one is difficult, and the grief it puts on your family can be troublesome. Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Cremation Incorporated strive to make the hardest time for you and your family a comfortable one. They can accommodate for large gatherings to smaller private viewings. Hello and happy Mother's Day, and welcome to NCTV 45's Community Happenings this for May 8th to May 14th. Let's get right to it and let's start with the Newcastle Public Library. Friends of the Newcastle Public Library will meet Monday the 9th at 11 a.m. This, the Friends, is a 501c3 dedicated to promoting, supporting, advocating for the library. Friends operate the bookseller. New members are always welcome. Dues are $10 a year. The 2021 Friends of the Library uh, Friends of the Year Award was given to Outstanding Service and Literacy in our community, awarded to Carol, and Carol, I'm going to mess this up, Kalizzi and Mitch Olzowski. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. Now, um, as we continue on, with uh, some great things going on at the Newcastle Public Library. Remember that library stitchers, and uh, they meet the first Friday and the third Friday, so I'm telling you that ahead of time, as they will be meeting next week. But Beaten It Cafe will be Monday, 6 p.m., okay, and uh, Enjoy local music and entertainment in an open mic environment. So uh, make sure that uh, you get a chance to enjoy that. That's always a library favorite. Virtual story time is on Monday and that is at 10 a.m. You can go to their link ncdlc.org. It's a Zoom connection. And also remember that this week, Pre-K Explorers, that is a hands-on learning experience for three to six-year-olds, and they explore STEM activities and activities that will enhance uh, books. And uh, this week, uh, I believe they'll be at, yeah, at Scotland Meadows Park on the 10th. That's a Tuesday, and uh, hopefully the rain stays away as it gets really wet. Now, on Wednesdays, it is Mother Goose Story Time. That at 10 a.m. at the library, and then We Build follows that at 10.30. That gives everybody a chance to socialize and uh, just enjoy. This week with the family night, join us at the library, family night, Tuesday the 10th at 6 p.m. And uh, they have a lot of great activities going on that night. And uh, I guess it's board games that they bring uh, from time to time. So check with the library on that. Now, family PJ story night with author Bob Parada. The Path, Joey's Nighttime Adventure, Inspired, will be on the 24th at 6 p.m. I tell you that ahead of time. Know that the bookseller is open 9 to 5, Mondays through Wednesdays, Tuesdays noon to 5, and Thursdays and Fridays, 10 to 4.30, and 10 to 2 on Saturday. Now, as we shift to the F.D. Campbell Memorial Library, a lot of great things going on. The library's annual book sale will be Monday the 16th that, uh, through Saturday the 21st. That's one week away. Make sure that you mark that on your calendar. 
kids art night tissue paper flower scene okay will be Thursday the 12th at 5:30, and uh, registration is required go to FD C library dot org and that's at and I'm going to remind you that's at the FD Campbell Memorial Library so uh, check that out Monday down in Elwood City it's classic book group meeting at 630 on Tuesday 20 something book group meets uh, and that at 7 p.m. so uh, a lot of great activities you can call them at 724 758 6458 and uh, enjoy those great activities now um, community happenings continuing with uh, a lot of great events I tell you about this it's the ones men it's the oneness men's dinner uh, join a group of men within our area it's a great time to network with leaders of all these connections and uh, Maybe pick up a friend or two uh, for golf and fishing or whatever you might want to do. You can RSVP to forms.gle slash rtxzqueewsrdoxr1b9. <laughs> or uh, give them a call at the Confluence. They'll be happy to let you know. Thursday, 7 to 8.30, feature performer Davis and Henner will be there. And uh, so a lot of great activities. And know that at CareerLink, Fair Labor Standards Act, they'll have a presentation on that Friday from 8 to 9, PA CareerLink. That is 101 South Mercer Street, Suite 101. And um, you got an RSVP by Wednesday the 11th to see Chamberlain at WCIP.org. Now, for NCTV 45's Community Happenings, I'm Angelo Parada. Here's hoping you have a splendid week. It's going to be a little bit drier, so that's always a good thing. For NCTV 45's Community Happenings, have a great week, and remember, we're available anytime on your time so if you or your group has an event going on email us at nctv45 at gmail.com and we'll try to get it on the air for you here's hoping you have a great week everybody see you again real soon